Friends and welcome back to Drag Drama by Hannah Carlson. In yesterday's video I showed you how to color the top part of the mushrooms and today we'll focus on the bottom part. If you didn't watch yesterday's video I'll just quickly tell you that the background was inspired by the lovely Peter Hewitt. So go check out her work on Instagram or YouTube. Now, I will be working with my Durban drawings now. And if you don't have them, don't worry. I will show you the colors. And I am absolutely sure that you will be able to find something similar in any other pencil set. Our darkest color will be chocolate. This very nice, deep, dark, lovely brown. We also have Warm Earth, which is a light neutral brown. A bit of some warm grey. I know Polychromos has this colour and I'm pretty sure Prismacolor does too. And Weed, here we go. If you take Prismacolor's eggshell and use it lightly, I'm sure it could work. Let's begin. Let's work on the insides of the mushroom here. To me, this is always the darkest parts, so you guessed it, we'll use chocolate. And I will just press a bit harder at first and then soften out the color. Because in here, we will be in shading from the top of the mushroom, but down here not so much. And the side here is in shade because of the stem. We can call them stems, right? I think that's what I'll call this video. I just tried to google what the parts of a mushroom is called. I couldn't find out. <laughs> I couldn't find out, so... We'll just make up our own words. Again, just pressing a bit more hard along the line and fading it out. These diamond drawings pencils come in the most wonderful natural colors and they are so, 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 so easy to fade out. Just like that. One thing you ha need to be careful with with these pencils is they are quite waxy and they smudge even worse than, than Prismacolors, so beware. <laughs> that is one side. Let's go to the next. And on this side it is the same. That's our first color. Next up is Warm Earth. And I won't be pressing as hard, but I'll use a sharp pencil to really get in there and blend the colors before I start to fade it out. I don't want as warm a color on the inside of the mushroom as I do in the stem itself which is another reason that, that I'm not pressing too hard just a hint like this to turn it down a bit I will be using that warm grey color again won't be pressing hard with this one just using a really sharp pencil to get in there There we go. For the stems down here and down here, <laughs> I will be starting with the warm earth. They are not going to be as dark as the insides. 
and I will be leaving a wide a whim as I did on the top. Going in quite softly and fading it in to the middle. And this mushroom has some kind of little skirt, so it will be shading on the stem itself. Just like that. Now I will be grabbing that chocolate and I will be adding some darker patches. As a mushroom is not a uniform thing or being, <laughs> it is alive. So there we go. Now it's time to use our weed color. And I'm just putting it putting sorry putting it all over the other colors to blend a bit and with a harder pressure for once. I'll fill in with a very soft touch. I'll put it in those lighter rims at the edges. Let's do the same down here. There we go. Now I'm going to show you this one. It's a bit different because as you can see we have these lovely dots. Let me show you the other page here with the other mushrooms. Here we have had some dots as well. And we made these lovely shadings on the stems. Let me show you how to do it. Again, I'll start with warm earth. And this time I'll start with the shading underneath that skirt thingy. <laughs> And the difference is that I will go along with this color and follow the area where the dots have been placed. So no light rim. Instead we'll follow the dots. And I'm just pulling the color down so we have something to work with. Oop. Pencils are sliding everywhere. <laughs> Here we have chocolate. I'm using chocolate for the darkest areas. When I'm coloring the stems like this. And the reason I'm not starting with chocolate is because if we start off with chocolate, you see how dark it'll get. And I don't need that darkness, I just want the same tone of color. So it'll fit the mushroom like that. Next up is wheat again. And I'm not going to go over every single little bit. Just where it goes from the paper color to the weed color. And I'm not going to use the hardest pressure this time. Just blushing it in with a mix between medium and very soft pressure. There we go. Now for these skirts, I will be starting with chocolate again. Oh, I just love the feel of these pencils. They are so slick. I love it. <laughs> And I'm going to use it softly. As you see, it will be dark. And that is the intention. But 
but we won't, don't want that intensity of color. I'm placing it where I imagine the little folds are and I'm softening down, feathering it down from underneath the top of the mushroom. There we have our shading. Now I'll go in with the warm grey. With a medium pressure on top of the chocolate and fading it out. That way we will get the smoothest color transition. But we will remain a bit of texture because it is the mushroom. They are not totally slick and shiny. They have some dirt on them. <laughs> they come out of the ground after all. There we go. Now we have two completely finished mushrooms and I think they look pretty good. I hope you think the same. And I really hope this tutorial was helpful. Again, if you are interested in seeing how I did this, I have a link in my description. And if you have any other questions or requests, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. I'll see you next time. Bye!